Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Natalia from Vintage Gopher Designs. For today's project, I'm going to be working on this long dresser that I'm sitting on right now. Hopefully it won't break on me. <laughs> A little story of this dresser, I bought it in Edmonton from Kajiji and it's actually pretty good condition. There is some uh, scratches and dents, but overall it's uh, fair condition. I love redoing stuff and inspire you to get creative and try new things. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and click on notification bell not to miss on any of my new videos. I'm using Porter cable belt sander to sand the top of this dresser. And now I'm using Devolt disc sander and 120 grit sandpaper to sand the edges. I'm changing it to 220 grit to smooth the top. Cleaning the dresser with warm water, drop of dish soap and till free rag. Fixing two center door slides with slap edge wood glue. Over a week ago I went to Michael's and I got some new stain. It's in cobblestone by Art Minds. It's my first time trying this stain by this brand, so let's experiment and see how it goes. I applied first coat, left it for an hour and then went back to apply the second coat. I'm using the same boho umber painting technique that I used for the Italian dresser. I've mixed three different shades of grey and just blending them, starting from the edges with the darkest color and it gets lighter as it goes to the center.
leaving it to dry for a few hours and while it's drying I want to apply another coat of stain for the top as I'm not so happy how it looks right now. I was just about to blame the stain for not matching the one that's showing on the label before I realized that I have mass forgotten to shake the can. Oopsie! Happens sometimes! I am keeping the original handles using Krylon Black spray paint, giving them a new look. This dresser is now ready for another coat of paint. Using mint wax finishing paste to seal the surface. I had to take the dresser inside of the garage as I couldn't finish it on the same day and wouldn't want to leave it outside either way, plus we had a snow that day. Applying metallic luster, black shimmer, while the clear wax is still fresh. You will have more control over the dark wax if you apply it right after the clear one. Just giving you a small tip. I have printed this image in reverse. And I want to transfer all these numbers on top of these two drawers here. Last and final step, I'm putting the handles back on. I love how this boho umbra dresser turned out. I have added the dark wax on the sides, so it gives that stunning look. Kept the original hardware. And the last thing, I added the numbers on the top of these drawers. Let me know if you ever tried boho umbra painting effect before. How did you like it? Thank you for watching. Please share this video with your friends and family, and I will see you soon. Bye now.